Hello and welcome back guys. So a couple people were disappointed that I um, cut the series off so abruptly. Uh, I've, I felt like I covered all the main concepts reasonably well, so I, I just thought that it, it was time to move on. But if, if you felt like you watched the whole series and then I left you hanging, please let me know in the comments below. Um, if, you wanted, if you wanted me to, I could do all of this in one giant video and recreate everything. I wouldn't mind doing that. Um, I, I just felt like it was possibly a little bit redundant because I had covered all of the main concepts before. There, there were a few things that I breezed over it. So uh, one thing is the comment comment blocks. So you, with any nodes in Amplify Shader Editor, you can highlight them and then hit, hit C like so. And then that gave me a comment block. And now you can move the whole thing around as one big piece. Um, another thing that I kind of breezed over was the registering of local variables. So at any point, uh, you can take the output of a node network and register it. So like if I wanted this lerp, I could just save that as lerp. And then later I could take the output and feed it directly into my material. So now we're saying get local variable and we could just take lerp. Um, now uh, I know we made everything in separate pieces, and I feel like that was kind of a mistake. In the future, if I'm going to make any materials as separate pieces, I'll make sure that I use the shader function. And so the way that that works is the amplify shader function right here. I'm going to call it force shield fresnel, like so. Open that up. Now, uh, let's just add a fresnel node to this guy. And that, that was a little bit confusing because there's already one here called Force Shield Fresnel. I created that while I was planning out this video. Um, just ignore that one. So this is Force Shield Fresnel. We'll give it a description. We'll call it some Fresnel for a shield. The description doesn't really matter in this case. So I'll compile that. And now if we jump back to the main shield. No. Uh, now we, we can say force shield fresnel, and there's two of them because I, I just explained that I made one before. Um, and then we could take that and feed it directly into anything else in our node setup. Um, so we, we could have, like down here we've got the, the whole fresnel box. Uh, I, I wish that I had done that as a shader function and then we could just plug it back in with, with a single node like that. Uh, th there is one, there's a few downsides to doing that and uh, mainly it makes it harder to figure out what's going on because everything's split into different files. Um, but, but since I explained everything separately it definitely would have been beneficial to... Um, it, it would have been a lot easier to tie everything back together if, if we had done it that way. So again I, I'm sorry if you feel like I left you hanging. Uh, again if, if you guys want me to uh, I can I can go back through everything in more detail. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Uh, I also did work 11 hours yesterday at, at my day job. I was programming for, for, for like 10 and a half out of the 11 hours. So that was kind of a brutally long day and I just came home and I was tired and I don't know. Ugh. Now it's the next morning and I'm just waking up, so I'm sleepy all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoy making these videos. And I enjoy hearing your feedback, so let me know in the comments what you thought. Thanks again. Bye.